all right let's see today market behavior and we'll discuss uh, top gainer stock first uh, here we can see this is the nifty and the daily chart as we discussed earlier that we are looking for buy after giving a correction so i think you remember so now i can see we use a diagonal uh, just let me change the color okay uh we are looking for buy after giving a correction now i can see we are using diagonal uh, trend line so this is a diagonal trend line i just connect that most recent swing point so have you seen it price hit a reverse back hit and a reverse back so finally price broke somewhere here and price create a new high and again pull back so that is our buy opportunity now price are creating new higher high every day all time high in the nifty so let's see here so most of the people are asking me sir where is the resistance line so how we determine so basically we are using swing high point but now you can see we never seen any high point uh, like uh, in a previous data now in that case we are using Fibonacci. let me show you here okay all right let me show you something here okay now you can see in this case a price are creating a new high lower low sorry higher low higher high higher low and the higher high higher low uh, now where is the higher high next the higher high so in that case we are using Fibonacci. so let me show you this wave last wave this is the last wave from this point uh, to this point all right so this is called impulsive wave impulsive wave iv impulsive wave so i want to connect this impulsive wave okay uh, here i can see this is the fibonacci i just i want to connect uh, this point and this point so let me show you yeah exactly somewhere there uh, let me zoom a little more okay now i can see here mm, this is a point and uh, this is b point and the c point all right so exactly you can see uh 60 uh, uh sorry uh, yeah uh 61 percent retracement from this point this is the higher and a retracement so in that case you can see extension is showing 138 point the something percent and another we have seen 161 percent this is the most important extension point so let me draw some horizontal line connecting this extension point first somewhere there here and another uh somewhere there now I can see let me remove this uh, this one now I can see we have seen this the resistance line around one five somewhere here one five three four uh three eight zero let me write again this point one five three eight zero first resistance somewhere there and another resistance is one five seven five zero that is the another resistance line so we have seen two resistance line now let's just jump to small time frame like uh, 15 minutes and are now here you can see price exactly just below this resistance line all right there uh, in that case we are using bouncing trading strategy price was bouncing off uh, 20 moving average and exactly somewhere there and uh, finally break this area and that was a buy opportunity but i'm not interested to buy anymore because price just a little more below this resistance line so once price break this resistance line so definitely i'll go for buy and uh, my next target will be somewhere there uh, this is the Fibonacci extension level 161 all right now let's see some uh 
most gainer stock so today we have seen maximum financial uh, company exactly banking sector gone up so first we have seen this is called axis bank all right so let's go to axis bank somewhere the axis bank all right okay this is axis bank let me remove this one okay now i can see let's just jump to daily chart now here i can see axis bank are creating near higher high and higher low have you seen getting higher high higher low higher high higher low and the higher high so in that case i'm not interested to uh or take any position because prices are too far from moving average it is a probability to pull back again so we leave it axis bank uh next uh, here you can see icici bank uh icici bank this one okay here you can see uh icici bank also too far from moving ever so i'm not interested to take any position all right so i'll leave it here so i'm not interested to take any position here this is my view all right so let's see bajaj finance bajaj finance is 5000 something like that let's go to bajaj finance okay bajaj finance uh, 5000 yeah this one all right so we was looking for buy bajaj finance somewhere there but uh, price uh, here you can see overbought zone all right it's uh, too far from moving average i need a pullback somewhere there it's a probability to run like a sideways so i'm not interested to take any position somewhere there and then next so most of the people are entering in this market uh, without getting any confirmation so SPI next SP, S, SBI and SBI okay this one all right uh, here you can see SBI is running uh, almost uh, you can see like over both so basically uh, i'm not interested to take any position when price are running like overbought they are too far from moving averages like here you can see uh, here you can see price are too far from moving averages so i'm not looking for buy so definitely i'm looking for buy when price are giving a correction like pullback somewhere there i'm looking for buy somewhere there i'm looking for buy now you can see it's overextended all right so basically i'll avoid banking sector uh, at least two to three days for all right in the sin bank also here i can see i think it will be same in the sin bank in the sin bank all right this one okay now here you can see in the same bank we have seen some uh entry point mm, price here you can see this is a uh, higher point somewhere there let's just jump to small time frame like that all right so price just broke this raised thin line so i'm interested to enter in this market all right so you can see here uh, price gone up hit and reverse 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 so multiple rejection we have seen and that finally today price broke this raised ten line so i'm looking for buy somewhere there above one zero uh, six five so it's important point so i'm looking for buy and price just near this raised ten line or not exactly raised ten line uh, you can say like that the moving average right so that is where i'm looking for buy okay and now next the bazaar's finance 10,000 now i'm not in hdfc okay let's see hdfc 
is the FC. Yeah, this one. Yeah, now I can see is the FC just uh, trying to break this survey thin line. So in that case, we will apply diagonal trend line somewhere there like that. All right, have you seen it? Okay. I'm looking for buy after breaking this uh, raised thin line. All right, now I can see here uh, in a large time frame, price are too far from moving average. And this is the previous high point. Okay, I need a pullback in HDFC Bank. Sorry, not HDFC Bank. This is the HDFC. So I need a pullback. So I'm not interested to buy anymore. All right. Okay. But just finance Ram Cement 28,000. No, uh, la last one Tata Motors. So last a few days we are following Tata Motors and we are trading on Tata Motors. Okay. All right, let's see daily time frame. Tata Motors are running in a sideway, so I'm not interested to trade anymore here. It is a probability to run like that until moving average gone up to this level. So once hit this moving average near uh, this price, so definitely I'll go for buy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.